What's up everybody, today we gotta talk about Gran Turismo, which comes out later this week, and I got the opportunity to see it a couple weeks ago. There's not much to spoil here because it's based on a true story, but if you wanna go in fresh, I get it, so come on back to this video once you've seen the movie. This was a movie I was not very excited to see, but I have AMC A-list and I love David Harbour, so I figured I might as well go see it. Let me tell you, I can't remember the last time I was so shocked by a movie as Gran Turismo is really good. The story covers Yann, a car enthusiast who loves the game Gran Turismo and has clocked thousands of hours beating everyone at his local gaming arcade. Danny Moore, a Nissan marketing rep, decides he wants to take the top GT players and turn the best one into a racer and Jan and nine others attend Jack Slater's Academy and then Jan who's on the brink of being sent home but because he knows so much about cars from the game he gets the edge and makes the final five. He then ends up winning the final academy race and has to get his racing license which he has six races to do. He needs to place fourth or higher to get it to which is no easy trial. He gets it on the sixth and final race and sends his contract to represent Nissan or Nissan they say Nissan in the movie. <laughs> I'm going to say Nissan because that's what I say, but it's a short-lived glory because in what I believe was his first official race after he has a freak accident, and I didn't know uh, Jan's story in real life before the movie because I'm not really a car guy or a racing guy, but this scene was absolutely terrifying. Luckily, Jan doesn't suffer any major injuries, but unfortunately, someone in the crowd couldn't get out of the way and lost their life. This absolutely destroys Jan until Jack Slater tells him his story and why he stopped racing after the crash he was involved in that ended his career. The next race he does is Le Mans, which terrifies Jack, but he ultimately comes around to the idea of it because he wants Jan to prove himself and make a name for himself, which he does. Jan and his team placed third just beating the douchebag Nicholas Kappa, securing their spot in history. This was one of the most intriguing stories of the year so far and I was engaged the entire time. The thrill can make your heart pop out of your chest and I found my, myself fist pumping multiple times after Jan won races, but especially after that win at Le Mans, which was incredibly emotional as well. There was actually quite a few emotional moments in this movie which I didn't really expect because the trailers don't really show them all that much, but a lot of it is centered around this final race at Le Mans and also the scenes after Jan's accident. Most of those scenes though were driven by the actors, but specifically David Harbour. He's been flying up my list of favorite actors and this movie puts him in my top 10 favorite actors. It's official. He was lights out in this movie. Archie Madukwe, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, was charming as Jan and there's a scene between him and Jimon Hunsu who plays his father that absolutely broke me. I did not expect to cry at Gran Turismo, but here we are. Also, the vibe of the entire cast after the Le Mans race is so cool, you genuinely really feel for these characters by the end of the movie. Then just one more thing, I really like the creative choice to put you into the video game during the races to keep track of Jan and all the other racers, then on top of that, taking Jan out of his car, not literally, and putting him into his GT setup, which was such a fun thing the movie did. I'm really glad this movie turned out to be good, because it's never fun when a movie sucks, but as always, I want to know what you guys thought about the movie, so let me know down in the comments below, and make sure you have a great day.